Today guys, we're going to use a photo of someone's face and turn it into a logo image. Right, step one. What we're going to do, we're going to duplicate the layer. And there we go. The background layer here, basically what we're going to be doing, we go to here, we turn it off. So we, it's the one that we want to use. So we just zoom back out and that's what we want. Okay. Uh, now, we're just going to use the lasso tool. As you can see here, up on the left hand side, use the lasso tool. Right, we're going to take a bit of a screen dump picture here, go selecting around her face. We're going to go up to edit, copy, Edit, paste, and as you can see up here on the layers, the new one that we pasted is layer one. For the background one, we're going to get rid of, turn it off, go back to the digital image. Now, we're going to go to the magic wand tool, select that one. If you haven't select, if you can't select that, magic wand tool is probably there, or quick selection tool is probably there, we don't want that. We want the magic wand tool. Because basically we're just going to go around the background here behind her head and we're going to cut that out. Okay? It's pretty straightforward. Cut. And here, cut. And there, cut. And there, cut. Right. Now the magic. Now here we are. Let's go up to here and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. Go up to image. Adjustments, we get into threshold. Now we click on that. There we go. Comes up with this screen here. 128. Now uh, it, it automatically just picks the, the best one for you. Um, I would say around about 100 would be ideal. Um, it's got less detail in it and it's more realistic. That's the one we want. Now, because we've got a picture of the girl with her eye. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to colour in the fingers. Colour in with the paint bucket tool. And we're going to sample the colour with the eyedropper tool. And we're just going to fill that in. We're going to do the same thing with the nice little tool again. Over here, just going to but basically all I'm doing here, I'm just colouring in the hands because we don't want the hands. Okay, and let's go to the paint paper tool, fill it with black. Right, and then deselect, just hit the lasso tool again. Right, now behind the head here is the rest of the hands. I'm just going to cut this section out. Edit, cut, do the same on the other side. Edit, cut. Now it's going to zoom out, there we go, and there we have it. That's how you do the cartoon image part this picture. Go to select color range, and then straight away it'll come up with a little box with the color range on the screen. All there, select the black. Straight away, it selects all the black colors. Now, now we're going to put a gradient in here on the left hand side here. It's usually called the paintbrush tool, it's usually selected by default. It goes to gradient. Now, what we're going to be doing on the left here on the bottom is the two colors. Black's obviously the colour that we're working with at the moment. You select the other colour, but you just keep on, you change the colours like that we're using that there. So, okay, whatever colour you select, black. Just change it to red. Okay. Now, put a little arrow on the bottom left here, click that, and give it the other colour. So, I've got a brown, let's just stick with that. We're still in the gradient tool. Start from the top here and go right down. All that black will be colour. There we go. Alright, go back to the lasso tool and just click on the image, that will be selected. 
advice. Now what we're going to be doing, we're going to put some text. Now get the color, select black, okay, T for text, horizontal, that's what you want. You don't want the vertical tool, the mask tool, no, no, no. Just horizontal, we're going to go straight format here. Now the, form, the text I'm using here is called Vogue, caps lock, L-O-G-O, -O. okay go straight up here to the move tool and straight away the text is got a transformation box around it the top right hand corner or the left hand corner any of the corners you just drag you drag it and it will change whatever size you want however if you feel uh, I need to make it lower or smaller from the top down vertical instead of going into the automatic transformation where the whole thing is corresponding Hold down the shift key on a Mac. I'm not too sure what it is on uh, Windows. And that's for this way you can do things like this. You can change it whichever way you like. So at the moment we're going to stick with that. Get the nice U tool. Image. Right. Well, we're back to where we're going with that. Now. What we're going to do, we're going to put a face over the words. Before we do that, I just noticed we've got a bit of a lump here on the side of the face. It's going to fix that up. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the right side. Copy. Paste. This move tool. See, straight away, what I've actually pasted is up there as my O2. Make sure it's selected. We've got the selection tool, move tool. Go up to edit, transform, and then the fit horizontal. Now with the move tool, I just click on it and I can move it wherever I want to put it. So I'm just going to make it so that it's perfectly aligned. That looks good. That looks like it's going to be lump on the side of the head now. I'm just going to zip it out. Now, I'm going to get this logo text. I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy that. Just in case. Alright. Now, Layer, flatten layer, discard hidden layers because the hidden layers I've got the logo text which I've copied and I've deselected it up here on the, on the layers. Hit OK. And that's a flat image now, see it's only one layer. Then we go to edit, paste will be the text. Now, move tool, and move the text down like this. I want it so that her face here is going to come through the logo text. Go back to there. And select around her face that I'm going to put over the top of the logo. Edit, copy, edit, paste. Now, I put in the layers. These are nice little trickless layers. Uh, I want this layer to be on top of the layer, so you can see it. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when I actually drag it. You can just drag it, put it on top. Like that. See, straight away there. Go back. See? See, place on the left, that's how I'm with the words, the black letters. Layer 2, put it back on top. Tidy it. Alright, that's what we want to do. Now, we're going to do the magic wand tool and click on the red. I'm going to delete it. Edit, cut. There we go. The lasso tool is a little white there. Let's so do that as well. Okay, let's zoom out. We've got 
screen and there you go guys that's how you do a logo of your picture of your face and also with some words cheers thanks for watching